Hey everybody, Brett Nobody here, and welcome back to Let's Play World of Warcraft. And I'm sorry today if I have a lisp, uh, I'm a bit dry-throated right now, and I have no water in the house, so anyway. Before we head off on to our next quest, I wanted to show y'all something. Uh, I've had this mail icon up here for a while, and it says it's from Briani. And I checked my mail, and she sent me Chili the Penguin. Uh... What Chili basically what Chili was is he was a nice little promotional thing for Blizzard. If people had linked their Battle Network accounts to a World of Warcraft account before patch 3.2, I think. Uh, anyway, yeah. So he's gonna be our only little pet thing for now, and we got an achievement off of it. Can I keep him? Yeah, very nice achievement. Kind of new, but eh, don't bother. So anyway, yeah, for where we're going next, we're going to want to take the back roads here. Try and avoid some conflict. Never mind. What the hell are humans doing here? Something tells me that's a multi-boxer. You know what, I don't really care. We're just going to kill things for the hell of it. And I forgot to rebuff. Alright, so here we are. Uh, this is where we want to be for the Twisted Hatred quest. That's the one where we had to find um, Lord Melanos, who is the satyr in here, in Felrock. So yes, we're going to head in, and I believe those people just came out of here, so it was kind enough for them to clear the way. Usually this place is filled with a shit ton of grail grills, I'm not going to lie. Uh, usually there are blue ones, which are considered the casters now, and there are orange ones, which are melee-oriented and will run towards you. They also gain a new... Damn. <sighs> I am... Hmm. Oh. Well, that person was here. Well, uh... Anyways, from here, we can pretty much look down onto the people. Yeah, so the blue ones are now considered casters, and casters generally now carry a staff with them. Uh, casters this time around, they are able to cast the druid, like the druid spell Fairy Fire. Pretty much bad for rogues. <clears throat> yeah, pretty bad for rogues, and uh, that's about it at this level. They also Fairy Fire also reduces your armor, and... We'll get into a fight with one of them. Okay, so apparently I was wrong. There are also blue ones that are melee-oriented. I am wrong about that. It's not going to be the first time I'm going to be wrong in this LP. Anyways, yeah, so we've had an upgrade to blue ones, and I'm not going to make y'all sit through this part, so I will edit this out. Alright, guys, we are back, and we found Lord Melanos. Now, he's in a bit different place than I cut off. Uh, apparently he spawns down here now, and for being up there, I'm very sorry. Uh, but there are t some times that I have seen him go up there. Alright, now something about Lord Melanos. Immediately when you get into the fight, he's going to go into cat form. Now for druids, get used to this, because this form is going to be yours. And if you go feral, I'm not, but I am going to be using feral quite a bit for leveling. You will enjoy You will be seeing a lot of that form. So I'm just saying. Alright. Now, I'm just going to kill off these grails. Oh, dear, we're getting low on health. Hello, 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 hello. Whew, thank God. I didn't want to have to run back. I don't want to cut out anymore. <sighs> Shit, I forgot my recorder. No, well, I'll just add, like, a minute, so... And we're going to hearth back, because I can't be arsed to run out. But, yeah, that's Lord Melanos. He, uh, uses cat form, really not that tough. Only problem is, he can spawn there with a couple grails on him, so you might want to bring either a healer friend or a ton of armor, maybe a potion or two. Alright, so while we're here, we're going to sell everything that was in my bags. I did a bit of killing while I was off screen, and y'all didn't see that. But, <coughs> yeah. I'm going to sell this staff. Pretty much everything in my bags is going... I can't use it, so can't be arsed. And we're going to turn in this head, and we're going to head off. And 
And, wow, this is going to work out so well. Y'all see in a second. <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, yes, we are now running, running. This is the last time we got to come up here. Yay! I really hate these fucking spirals. Did you kill Lord Melanos yet? It is vital that he had been taken care of been taken care of quickly and quietly, Timekeeper. His continued existence is an embarrassment to us all. With Lord Melanos laid to rest, I can finally move on to other matters. Thank you, Timekeeper. What did he do that was so bad? I just want to know. I mean, yes, he's a... Damn. Anyways, yeah, we leveled up off that. <laughs> I didn't know he cast Mark of the Wild on us. But what could he have possibly done? I mean, I know he's a satyr, and we were and the Night Elves were like at war with them during the War of the Ancients, but what could he have done so bad just sitting there, amassing his army? Selling those. And we're going to our trainer. So, you probably saw in the um, Shadow Glen videos and in this one that every two levels, so when you're like at every interval of two, you are able to go to your trainer and you are able to learn new abilities now right now we're gonna learn entangling roots and the second rank of healing touch <coughs> uh... thing about entangling roots when i was leveling i didn't use it much cuz i had gotten my druid up to level seventy before wrath came out so when wrath did come out and they added the changes to entangling roots i didn't bother with it but I'll demonstrate it right now. Entangling Roots is the first root effect that we ever get as a druid. Um, what it does, it holds the target in place, and you can keep recasting it if you want to. Uh, it's great for getting some distance from your opponents. It also causes a minor damage over time effect. But, honestly, it has a tendency to break on you when you're casting. I don't know if I will be using it much during this Let's Play or not. Maybe when I'm leveling or something, going up against a hard boss, but I never really did use Entangling Roots as I leveled. So I just probably won't use it if I don't. I'm not going to discount it as a horrible ability because pretty much what it did before 3.1 or Wrath came out, Entangling Roots was only good for outdoors. And then there was only like two, maybe three outdoor instances, instances total in the original world. There were almost no outdoor instances, save for um, uh, the Caverns of Time instances, which were considered outdoors. I can kind of understand that, but anyways, there was nothing, pretty much, nowhere it could be used um, skillfully, so... It really wasn't that great for me to use, but I'll try, try and use it uh, during this LP. So we made our way down here to Delanon, going to give him his earth. You have something for me? Yes, we have your rare earth. Ah, it's here! I have waited for this rare earth for quite some time. I hope it's still fresh. It's dirt! Thank you for bringing it to me, Timekeeper. You are a night elf who was generous with his time. I have too much time on my hands. Now, let us plant this rare earth in my planter. Thank you again, Timekeeper. This rare earth will be very helpful in my experiments. And get a good look at this, guys. We're going to be using this form later. Yes, we get our own bear. Isn't it awesome? And we got two new quests. The Timberlings of Teldrassil are elementals of nature. In some ways, they reflect the natural order of plants and animals on our great tree. So it is disturbing to see how angry the Timberlings have become. I believe it has something to do with the soil. I have been working on different methods of nurturing plants and would like to try them on timbering, Timberling seeds. Please, can you gather seeds from Timberlings around Lake Alameth and bring them to me? Bring eight Timberling seeds to Delanon and he'll give us some mushrooms next quest small timberlings are sprouting around the waters of Lake Alameth 
I'm afraid these sprouts are beyond help. We should try to clear them from the land before they grow large enough to cause trouble. When you're wandering the lake, I will. S if you see any timberling sprouts, please take them. Help keep our land clean. And from that, we're going to get nothing good. But we're going to stop the recording here because my timer is off by a minute and I'm running up on the time limit. So uh, thank you all for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. Later.